Yo, what up everyone? Welcome back to another Anime Kingdom review on Twin Star Exorcist. This is on episode 4 as you can see by the title. And this episode was definitely more focused on um, the brotherly love between Ryogo and Rokudo. Definitely more of a build up to the next episode because as you know Rokudo doesn't want to be an exorcist. But this episode, it shows that he can be and it kind of shows like motivation that he can. He has to move forward. He knows, you see in this episode... Uh, Ryogo, it, we see a lot of flashbacks pretty much, but with like Ryogo and Rokudo back in the past, and how Ryogo looks, you know, he he likes, he cares about um, Rokudo and wants him to not just keep running away from his um, what happened, but he wants to, um, he wants him to be able to move on from them, you know, and move forward. And um, you definitely see Rokudo kind of pretty much grow in this episode. He always just wants to disagree. At the very beginning, he even like just runs out, doesn't want to listen to Ryogo. And then, of course, um, he just walks, sees an old lady used to give, you know, and we see a little bit of flashbacks and everything. It was also funny with the um, Mayu Mayura, like, oh, did you kiss her? And he's like, what? Why would I do that? <laughs> just like, oh, gosh. Uh, but um, it was mainly an episode building up for him to finally come back as you saw in the preview of this it was um it seems to me seems to be that he is going back to be an exorcist or he's going to try to be he's going to be going back to fight so this episode is definitely more of a build up to that showing for one thing how much um, ryogo cares for him and how much rokudo will do even though he is scared because of what happened he's willing to be able to fight for his family. He cares about his family. He doesn't want to lose anyone, you know, ever again. That's the big thing. That's why you see him, like, at the roller coaster thing. He didn't want those people, to, those kids to die because of what happened. And he just pretty much doesn't want anyone to die. He doesn't want anything of what happened before to happen again. Um, we still don't really get into what really happened in the past. I'm hoping they, um, what's it called? later show more about that obviously even Benio was talking about it at the very end um but we also see a little bit more of a connection seeing them grow on each other Benio seeing that Rokuto will do anything for his family and seeing that even though he had this traumatic past he's willing to you know be able to fight and fighting when he's fighting that's the one time she thinks he is great and she admires him and everything even though and then of course she ruins the whole thing at the very end with saying yeah, but that's the only thing. Everything else is bad. And like, oh, you're even loud too. And he, they're just, you know, bickering to each other. And that's one thing. I, I love seeing them, the growth between them. Um, seeing Even he said, oh, you are nice, you know. I love seeing that growth, but then also still seeing that they still are themselves and still bicker with each other, you know. I do not want them to all of a sudden be like, let's be together forever kind of thing, you know. And that's why I do like the character development that is going on between both of them, including with... The help of other people like Ryogo. Um, one thing that happened in this episode, it was interesting to say the least. Um, when Ryogo and them were fighting, I'm, I'm, it's kind of weird. Why did the other two get pushed out? And I'd, I was also wondering why doesn't he have more of those, um, what's it called? Like, wait, you know, the, the things to get out of the area. Like, I don't understand why you would only have one on you. Because it seemed he only had one, or he would be. Being able to go back, cause so or is it because like when he's doing it, he needs time, and they didn't have time, and they got destroyed. I don't know. It seemed like what the heck, you know. Um, the monsters still look um, scary as you know, super scary, but the action in this one, it was not as good as the other ones. It was still good, but I I kind of want to see more of um, like like different stuff. Like um, Rokudo, I want to see him do something else besides doing a one punch, you know kind of thing all the time and um, Benio we've seen her fight many times so I want to see more Rokudo I want to see him try and do something different and that's what it seems like in the next one the talisman things he it seems like he's going to be using a bunch of those so I can't wait to see what happens it also looks like there's gonna be a new character being introduced in the next episode um so yeah I can't wait to see the next episode but overall it was a nice episode definitely a more build up to what's going to be coming and definitely like a nice touchy feely kind of episode between these you know Ryogo and Rokudo kind of showing their brotherly love for each other while also showing some character development between Benio and Rokudo as well so yeah definitely a more episode to develop things and build up for the next next episode that's pretty much what I've been saying um 
But yeah, that's all I got to say, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this Anime Kingdom review. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Is anything else you want to talk about, comment below as well. And yeah, I can't wait to see the next episode. This one was an okay episode. Not an amazing episode like the other ones, I feel. But it's definitely still a good one to build up to the next one, which I have a feeling the next one will be pretty dang badass. So yeah, that's all I got to say, guys. So until next time, see ya.